Hey players, welcome back for another video. Today I'll be going over everything on the new Pioneer game. Now players, this game, based off the gameplay trailer and like, it, it all looks so great. The storyline honestly looks promising, the world. But let's just dive right into it guys. The islands are sinking into darkness. With each blue tide, we lose more and more lives. It's time to rectify this and attack the hidden enemy. Complete the main story quest and find out the cause of the catastrophe. Perhaps the chances for salvation lies behind it as well. In Pioneer, special attention is paid to the events, factions, and quests in which you will take part. Play as a mercenary, a bandit, a caravan guard, an explorer, or a pioneer. The range of roles is extremely extensive and will help you become a full participant in a variety of events across the archipelago. Team up with other adventurers and act as a group. Together with your comrades, you can go on a long journey to the vast expanses of the Shadowlands or raid closed dungeons. You will explore anomalies, confront hunters from other factions, and run special missions. There's enough work for everyone. Go on a long journey to explore the island's most dangerous places. Build outposts, improve your equipment, and establish trade routes. These will all help you establish a foothold in the depths of the island. The outcome of your expedition depends entirely on you. The game features over 50 handcraft quests and elaborate stories. Some of them may contain difficult moral dilemmas or choices that affect the outcome of the quest. In case that's not enough for you, the game has prepared hundreds of different small errands and activities for you. Join different clans or interest groups, it's more fun and profitable together. In Pioneer, all tasks can be performed either in a group or alone. If you just want to kill other players, go to special areas on the global map, large areas of terrain with dashing battles between players, for example, the Shadowlands. You can go there as a group or alone. The reward for this decision will be the loot of other players and the opportunity to get rare and valuable equipment, which can often be found in these areas. You can also join the clan to declare war on the world together and head to the massacre with your clan comrades. You'll be fighting against everyone else, supporting only each other and teammates in this fierce confrontation. But you will be able to conquer resource points. Not only will you fight, but you will also earn some money. Joining a clan also gives you access to special clan events and activities that are supported by the game. It is very easy to make new friends and find new people in these events. If there is no clan but you still want to make friends and have solid cooperative action beside killing, you can find a passion in completing quests together with other players. By joining a squad with other players who have similar quests, you can do most of these quests together. This feature also applies to the quest for killing hostile factions players, and sometimes not only killing but also looting. The further you advance into the interior of the island, the more dangerous your surroundings will become. Don't be surprised, the archipelago in the game is undergoing a transformation. It is turning into alien, suitable only for the life of infestation and life forms desiring human extinction. Certain parts of the island have already undergone several stages of transformation. In some places the ground has blown up, in others everything has been contaminated or covered in blue tides. Unique artifacts or specimens for research are more likely to be found in such places. These are materials that pioneers and expeditionaries hunt for, of course, if they stay alive. Transformations of the island gave rise to a huge number of anomalous activities. Be prepared to meet the most diverse, spontaneous, interdimensional and biological anomalies. The latter are represented both by numerous animal mutations and spore infestations, posing the greatest threat to mankind. So player, that's all on Pioneer. Guys, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions on this game down below. Do you guys see yourself playing this game? Do you guys like do you guys think this game is fire? Honestly, I think this game's storyline is really unique. And we haven't gotten a game like this in a really long time, so I'm really looking forward to see more in this game. It's set to be released in 2024, but we haven't gotten a confirmed release date. But at this point we could probably expect it in the fall or quarter four of 2024, since we're already in July. Um, but yeah guys, like let me know what do you guys think about the world, the combat, the the storylines, the roles, the missions. Let me know, do you guys like co-op? Because I think any game with co-op could be a really fun game. Especially if you have four guys fighting an enemy team, that sounds fun. 
right guys? But let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section for sure. So players, I really really hope that you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys all on the island. Peace out. Watch out for enemies. They'll be anywhere.